Millhaven enjoying some rebellion as well. Yeah. It's not looking so good for them, but once again, Starnine kind of stayed. Who else is that? Who else has, has been hired in here? Who do we have? Zikania. Oh, Zikania as Everybody's well. Everybody's out to make a quick bit of buck on this. Yes. But then again, the homelands over for Johan here seem to be uh, getting attacked here. He's taking out some, some loans. Mm -hmm. He's not even up for some of himself, and he's not tapped on manpower. Uh, Aquitaine did also join in in all of this. They're not tapped they're, either. They're enjoying their golden age. The Proust are not, however. They could hit this if they want extra morale, but they decided this is not their I don't goal. think morale's his problem here. No, not I at all. I think it's if far too... He's gonna send those cheese people back and yeah, send the cheese get heads. back to your cheese hall. Yes. Okay, who's joined in to help? Zikania oh, there as well. No, no, not enough, not, not enough. You do. This is the star man. You've got to bring more people. You should know that. Come on, the the underdog is really showing how he can perform here. Mm -hmm. The Bruce is loose about this hoose. Yes. Now here comes the thing. Will he come and help Sheridan? Oh, Zakania is in a bad state here. Oh yes. Uh, there we okay, go. so Sheridan's... Okay, so Constantinople has fallen. Idrin will be soon to go as well. And then Sheridan's going to be in a bad situation where here. Where is his army? Is it, I, I, I do not know where... Okay, he's marching down south. He has mounted up all that he can, including plenty of cannons. Yes. Loads of uh, highly paid mercenaries. He's taken out the loans. He is in a heavy deficit here. What's he going to do? Where is he going to strike now? These guys are in a great defensive line here. Is he going to try and snipe them? Looks like he is, because he can get the defender bonus in these hills. It could be bad time for the Imperium, but the uh, reinforcements have joined in in time. Looking pretty even since he has the tactical terrain advantage here. We come. Here. here comes Millhaven. Right, Millhaven. Millhaven is in, backing them up. And, and the Prussians. Okay. Oh, this is oh gonna... wow. Okay, so Sheridan yeah. lives to fight another day. That was a big win there for Sheridan. But that did take the troops away from the north, so now we see the Britannians pouring on in. The Aquitaines are in. Johan is up. Johan's own troops pouring on in. Yes. But they what have... of Cats? What? Cats it? remains so neutral in all of this. He's kind of very... Surveying the scene, perhaps? Yes. Very... Meanwhile, I can't believe this, but Neverlooki is getting utterly trashed by these AIs. It's a, just a little bit it's, embarrassing. It's a, it's a sad display. Mind you... He... Capital down, too. Oh, well, never mind. Who needs capitals, at, anyway? Atta attacking an already beaten nation. It's one thing to lose a war. I know, it's terrible, that one. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Okay, so uh, having somewhat rescued Sheridan from their predicament, it seems that the Central Alliance is... Central powers are busy. Well, I don't know. They're, they're hanging out over in Gornia, because Gornia is the difficult one here. I suspect... Who declared this war again? Was it, uh, was it the Johan? It was the Johan. He okay. declared it. Yeah, he, he's looking... He's brought the fight. He's brought the allies. Okay, now Gornia, they are not too far away from being pieced out, and what a blow that would be. They do, uh, funnily enough, the AI programmers, AIs, do throw themselves into whatever they try to do here. Bessarabia being uh, slowly but surely taken back. When it comes to contribution here, who's pulling the weight and who is not? Vesalia is. Why are they even here? They need to do a bit more work. Yeah, but i got to hand it to uh, the French people who have uh, given in quite a bit. So Yeah, Imperium. they're after a victory card. Yeah, but Sheridan is the one bleeding here. In fact, yes. who's bleeding the least on their side? Oh yeah, Gornia, yeah. but of the players... Millhaven and Prusen are just sitting back whilst Sheridan does the heavy lifting here. Not sure what to make of that. Yeah, I mean... The Millhaven is feeling uh, the Yeah, no, here. I mean, this is a... This is a... Yeah, but they, they are mounting their troops in the south here now. They made a coordinated strike, especially if the... Uh, oh, they've caught... The Starnanian troops are the ones... They've caught Vesalia and stack-wiped them. Okay, Vesalia did what they could. Yes, well, It wasn't much, mind. but they did it. Yes. At least they got some contribution there, right? Yes. Well, 2%. 2%. Okay, right, they're doing it. But the Britannians, the Britannians are there with some fairly good units of their own. Who's gonna... I think it's all culminating here into a battle in Newmark. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness me. Oh, well, the loss is here. We see who's running away. Was that... Yeah, that uh, was the eye. Okay, the Prussian, unbelievable. The Prussian actually lost out when it comes to morale. They're being sent home. Well, I think that was just sheer weight of numbers. <laughs> there was over 100,000 troops in there. He is uh, He is the underdog here yes. with Starnan, so he's... Uh, Starnan, never knowingly undersold. No. He promised us the underdogness, yeah. and he delivered. Now, we were told this is a war for Tragulea. There's a lot of cores to be returned here. Yes, we'll see we'll, if we'll, we'll, will we see a free Tragulea? Feel my salt-infused cannonballs! Was that, <laughs> oh my! Was that the idea that tipped the balance? Oh, wow. Actually, I wonder if he if he did manage to get anything, uh, anything special that's up there. Yes, it's, there we go! The salt-infused cannonballs! The artillery... Yes. 
of the Britannians. <laughs> With that extra, bringing that extra salt in. Yeah, the desultipline, the salty cannonballs, the salt bargaining, it's all working for Britannia. It's all here. getting salty here. Yes, indeed. Does Starnan have any devastation? Well, there we it? see so. the Johan troops crossing into Starnan territory there. Yeah, they need to show. Oh, them. we're getting full salt here in chat. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Um, it's going to be bad for my health. Has, has the salty one been reaching out to his fans via Discord? I, I wonder. I somewhat think, you know. Yes. We've got, got a lot of new names here popping in. Yes. We see we see through your uh, your ploys yes. there. Okay, so, uh, but not one to be deterred. It seems that the Starnan has recruited a whole bunch of new mercenary scum. Uh, and as you get to see some new salt emotes, I didn't even know Twitch In had. fact, I rather think that uh, he got stack wiped because the numbers for uh, Prusin are really low, I think. Oh. What's he done? He might have consolidated what he had, yes. recruiting new ones. But here's the thing, Gornia are not long for this war. If we actually look at it, after all the damage they've suffered, they would very nearly take a white piece here. They're getting war exhaustion, their military strength couldn't be much lower. A few occupations in the Gornia. Oh, wait a minute here, though. Speaking of people getting occupied, though. All right, I think this is the end for uh, the fridge, though. Yes, They're being not. told to go home. Yes. And if they do a tactical blocking, uh, they missed out on that, probably because of all the occupations here. Well, they but, would have still got over, wouldn't they? Yeah. Yes. Well, the, the fleets could have blocked them there. Then they would have been in a dire strait. Oh. Great band, though. Yeah. Get your money for nothing. Yeah, but the chips are free. Yes. Uh, mm. All good. right, so Britannia's there to defend them from being invaded on this side. And, oh my, who, who were these again? Zakania. Oh, there the Hebrews being, there. Oh, being stack wiped. Purged. Wiped purged. them out. Negroponte was their uh, point of death there, yes. the finer port of call. So, uh, oh, well, uh, they just popped away, didn't nice they? Nice work there from Vesalia. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're, they're <laughs> they got plenty more where that came from. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay, now Millhaven, uh, their time to shine has come and gone. They are yes, under no, this complete is... annihilation here. Oh, yes, and there's uh, that the bombs said, troops. That said, it won't take long for these to be taken back because uh, the defenders here do bring plenty of cannons, whereas the attackers are being very mild on them. Yeah, I think that the thing here is, though, that once they occupy back this territory here, Emil can just come back over. Oh yeah, that, that's the thing, you could just stab from the south. This area will never be safe no. unless they park a permanent garrison here. And that's to be a and I don't garrison here. They don't have the troops for that though, that's the thing. They can retake this territory. No. And uh, we kind of, we always undersell Phrygia because they bring in uh, troops with both defensive ideas, extra morale from the start, and they take less shock damage and infantry combat ability. That's I, I get this feeling that Emil with Phrygia is actually going to be hitting a lot harder than we give him credit for. Well, he's definitely been, he's put a lot of thought into this idea set. He is a QA. Yeah, and not only that, he is back the right horse here. He needed someone that would bring Sheridan down. Bring on the pain. Yes, indeed. Because he wants his victory card. Okay, people are asking how the numbers on each side look, so when it comes to Johan's coalition, you know, no, we're, we're no. almost touching 300,000. Yeah, they are a little bit down, but not by much. Mm -hmm. but, but on this uh, side here, it's looking grim. It's They're looking bleeding out. very yeah. grim. And Gornia, like I said, they are almost out of this war. In fact, it would probably be an easy white piece right now for, uh, for Johan. But I don't know, maybe he actually wants to uh, to make them suffer. Well, definitely, he the, the, apparently the goal is to save Tracula. Yeah, now Tracula, where does he have those cores? They're still here in Gornia. Yeah, so he could get them back. All right, so perhaps everybody is trying to make Tracula. Now, is the Iridescent Horde? I won't say it. The Iridescent Horde have joined in this war and oh. are immediately regretting it. Yes, as... <laughs> but no, there um, they are. They're going to get okay, the one Crimea back. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it does indeed. It looks like Prussians back on the menu. Yes. yes. Okay, yeah, Nevaluki also joining in. Probably feeling that, you know, they couldn't beat Palembang, yeah. the nation. So they'll try and take Palembang's already lost provinces. It, it all counts, you gotta remember yeah. that. You know, well, we, wins we, a win. We got rebels fighting rebels, brother fighting brother. Yes. And, okay, here we go. It's, uh, it's panic in Gornia. Yes. Unfortunately, minus two on the terrain. The mountains here not working well for the uh, the attacking coalition here. Uh, yeah, no, and they've got their army massed. Yeah. Big win for them. But 
I just don't think they got the troops to really exploit this now. Yeah, the defenders have uh, worked this out well here, trying to strike back, but Millhaven is feeling the burn so badly. Yeah, no, they are, they'll be pretty devastated. Yes, indeed. Uh, uh, not not heavily loaning though, but that's probably because they're not heavily fighting either. Their army has been reduced to uh, uh, that rather shadow of what it used to be. Bit of a scraggle here. All right, Britannia is keen to show off their big salty balls, and they're yes. going in with it. This could be a trick treat for all you people who like Daniel's salty balls here. Okay, oh, he's, he's really proven his mettle here. He is outgunned, but he sends them packing. Incredible work here. Daniel, outnumbered, but never outgunned. Daniel smashed Daniel in that fight. He yes. didn't even need the backup of the canapes here. Yes, so Daniel there, winning again. Salty balls wins all. <laughs> salt infused. Yeah, salt infused balls. <laughs> Yeah, there's quite a bit of Kappa Pride going on here, yes, yes. Indeed, okay. Now, Britannia, they're showing off now. You know, it's just like, <laughs> we can kill everyone. <laughs> oh, my. They seem to be letting the Styrians rise up over in uh, Styria Mark. Yes. And, uh, they probably just want to deal as much lasting damage to Millhaven as possible, because Millhaven's been given, you know, that you couldn't ask for a better ally in the Starnan. They've had... The Starnan is very, very loyal. Yes to the death, mm -hmm. and sometimes beyond the grave. <laughs> well, in this case here, though, Dracula appears to have... Trin Dracula appears to have allies loyal beyond the grave. I, I don't think we're going to have anything that's been more beyond the grave than if we see Great Tragulia rise up. Rise! It's alive! Yeah, I, wonder, yes. I wonder who was made co-belligerent here. Now, Gornia was, uh, was not a co-belligerent, but the Prus was. Sheridan is not, so no, that kind of protects Sheridan a bit. Yeah, I mean, at worst, you know, if they lost two provinces down here, that would be a 100% war score on them. Yeah. And I think, well, actually, they are getting there. So, uh, I, I'm just so impressed by Phrygia's performance here that they're actually, you know, taking it down. It's very difficult to get 100% on someone else that's in the war. Yeah. But uh, they're managing. They're managing very well here. Yeah, no, uh, you know. Uh, there's a lot of support in the chat for Tregulea. I actually want everybody in the chat who is behind the great Tregulea, who's not even here to represent himself. Yeah, are you are you backing the great Tregulea? Make yourself heard. But I was actually sitting at the autograph booth with Trin Tregula during the PDX con. Oh, yes. Now... No, and when when I pointed out the great Dracula was here, people wanted his autograph. He has got yeah. his man base. He's a survivor. Yes. Yes, there we are. Make Dracula great again. <laughs> <laughs> Rise and shine. Free yes. Dracula. Yes, indeed. Dracula rises. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, come okay. on, Dracula. Yeah, yeah, People are telling us to take a look at Denmark. Uh, oh, did, did they have all this? Tarascat, people? no. What's going, what's Cats? Catalonia is hemorrhaging provinces here. Okay. Could this have anything to do oh. with their presence over in the New World, though? Is he thinking about going bugger this um, <laughs> out of here? He's taking one look at this and going, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Prussia is starting to feel it. Yes, yeah. they are. Just needs to feel it again. Mm-hmm. But Mill, Millhaven's, oh boy. Yeah, Millhaven. Yeah, how's that devastation looking? It's, oh. Oh, oh Millhaven, it's going to take a little while it's, to it's bounce back. It's funny how right, right next door, uh, Pacayes is 100% prosperous. Yes, most prosperous part yeah. of the world. Okay, the, uh, the attackers have done very well to actually keep the war off their doorstep. Yes. So that means they enjoy the prosperity, the enemy gets devastated. Alright, they're they're going for one more sally out. They're going yes. to show Daniel. Are they going to show Daniel salty balls a thing or two? Salt infused balls. Oh, oh yes. they're oh, retreating. Dear. They are retreating hard here. Yes. That said, retreating well, okay, I'm looking at the wrong guy here. I thought they'd retreating with minimal losses, but not quite. How is it going for Britannia here? They're running straight into the, the open arms of rebels here. He needs to regroup. He's uh, pretty much tapped on manpower. They have called for pizza because they have yeah. managed to get plenty oh, of Oh, here we go. Score. They're hunting them. They're hunting the okay. Britannians. Oh, wow. Can they last? Okay, now we've got back up from Aquitaine. We haven't seen much of them in this war. Can they jump in at the right moment? Yes, indeed. And that's why the Puss yes. is running home. Run away! Tail between his legs. Now, yes. Britannia and their allies, I think, are just going to have to cope with the call for peace because if they want lasting damage they can't just take from Millhaven they have got to take from the Proust. Yeah. Sheridan is on their bloody last legs. Okay, they're, people they're... are asking about losses. Loss oh the losses are not looking so hot here so what do we have? 170k 170, dead for the defenders here. Can they prove that they are mightier than the attackers though? 
The attackers themselves have lost. Oh, oh my goodness me. Jeez, that's harsh. 300,000 plus 100,000 yeah. in attrition as well. Now it's somewhat to be expected that when you're on the attack you will say, uh, suffer greater losses, oh. but it's... Uh, yeah, it's a lot here. Yeah, that is a lot. Yeah, it's not like we're fighting out in the boonies here. This is Central Europe. Yeah, but you got to say that with random development, Sheridan is out. out. What did Sheridan lose? The canopies if anything? has got back. Incredible. In. Yes. And what about Venice? Venice itself it was right. Marahen. It was uh, it was what? never anything special. All right. So, can't... but but what if uh, Phrygia? They are going to feel a bit. Yes, yeah, I know. But Sheridan also gave up land to the iridescent horde. So Crimea the iridescent is horde is back. Is... Crimea, ninja annexation of Crimea, yeah, who would leave? It was uh, a bit hard. It still has beautiful borders. Yes, that is indeed true, Icky. Okay, you've definitely, you will not be tried for crimes against border gore after this session. Yes, indeed. He he, he obviously defended well the, yes. the notion He's claiming borders. it's still a moral victory here for him. A victory <laughs> in my book. <laughs> <laughs> Occupying okay. moral high grounds. Yeah. But I, I feel for Phrygia here. They fought extremely well in that war. Yes, they, they bled. They, they crossed, they bled, they occupied all of this. And for what? They, they didn't for, get... For, for a canopy. Well, they, they didn't even get a foothold. Not even a toehold. In the Thrace. Thrace. Thrace continues to laugh at them. But Sheridan will now know that he is surrounded by hostiles here. Well, He's now going to need to... Well, there's I'd... nothing more hostile than an AI, right? So... But Mil and Evenom as well, mustn't forget about him. Uh, Milhaven is down for the count. Gornia is also out. It is just Milhaven and Prusant fighting on, but fighting hard. You know, Prus is keeping his lands very unoccupied, but his, yeah, no, his I mean, forts are uh, kind his of... His forts are his strength here. Yeah, but his forts are all stuck here. Okay, and there's one over in Lat. Yeah, What's no, it's... they were driving back their distant horde there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's not much more driving they can do. I find it strange that the Allies aren't plunging in, though, because this think... call for peace is just ticking up. No, they would have stopped call for peace because they got rid of Sheridan. Yes. So now they can once more go back into the breach. Yeah, well, the thing is, you know, Starnan, we know how good he is. Yeah, he, he, can, uh, yeah, he so can pull it out of nowhere. I, you know, I would definitely be able to... I would definitely be cautious. Still, though, it's hard to deny that the attackers only have one place to focus on now, and that is the Prus. Yes. There's no more sneak attacks from the Sheridan or Gornia adding to the yes. pile here. There's and a Prus loose, a boot by a hoose. Yeah, and the Nevaluki and the Iridescent, as laughable as their attempts may be, they are still a concern for the Prus. If they could just march everything into Lathgalia, force Prusin down to that 100% so that they can deal the damage. Because making him a co-belligerent means they can truly strip the heart out of him. They could take away a quarter of his country here. They could free Tracula. Free Tracula. That's what it's all about Yes. Here. Well, we'll find out if that's really what it's all about. Yeah. Just, you know, pre-war propaganda yeah. is one thing. But, you know, Starnan called it himself. He spent a good chunk before this convincing me, you know, he is the underdog. Well, and definitely. He's, he's proving it. Definitely. After all the abuse we gave him last week about his hug boxes, clearly... Not a hug box. No. no. No, he was right all along. Yes. Either that or they did not hug hard enough. No. Okay, gotta hand it to the cheese hole. They, yes, they're the cheese still hole. trying. Yes, good old Groogie there. Okay, giving... it looks like the surrender of Millhaven. Well, Millhaven. I, I think they have surrendered here. Because we've got a 100% war score here. But no, they're fully occupied. Uh, it's not a surrender. Oh, that, that, you could be right there. They've Could just, be right they've there. They've just simply been fully occupied. Yes, we are. Oh, no, here we go. We have unconditionally surrendered. We're yes. waiting for their reply. Yeah. But, uh, but, but Starnan there is... They're wanting him. Yeah, they're doing everything they can to protect the Starnan's lands. But uh, who are they fighting here? Oh, oh see, this is good because uh, when it comes to military ideas, Phrygia yeah. is kind of on par yes, with the Star. Yes, yes. Now, we are, if people got half an eye on cats, what is he doing? He cats only as getting smaller. So he's, they've set up a march. Yes. Uh, Taruscan, it seems that they are feeding them hard. And uh, yes, Taruscan see, have I, very low liberty desire. What's up with that? We can... I think cats wants to go over to the new world. Mm -hmm. But so, he's too big. Yeah, he is much too big. He is uh, cutting off some of the fat to make his way over, which does mean he's going to have to give up quite a bit. You yeah. know, who wants to lose to development Reykjavik? I don't know. We I, can don't, ask, I don't want to know. Would, would chat do that? I mean... Yeah. That might be... He will probably have to keep one uh, province remaining, so he'll be looking for his best. So probably better. Probably... Stavanger. Oil industry booming before yeah. you even knew it. Yeah, it's whale oil at this point, though. Mm. 
ethically farm though. We made that perfectly <laughs> clear. <on it. laughs> yes, our legal team is telling us to to be quite clear on this one. Yeah. Yes, no no whales were harmed in the making of this stream. <laughs> yeah, we, we're already in enough uh, enough trouble with HR or people in uh, performance. We don't need the legal team on us as no, well. No, no, no. We'll keep them. They're, they're, they're just despairing, you know. They, they've let us grow too big. Yeah, uh, so oh, no, they just hang their heads. Just go, God, not again. Yeah, following PDX gone, they're like, uh, we can't win anymore. Yeah, it's just, they're just going, thank God you guys weren't streamed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. So I wonder. I wonder what the uh, the Star Nan is going to be up to here. They 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 are almost certainly going to be pushing for 100 percent here. They'll tank that war exhaustion just to bring him down. Yeah. But Star, they, Star Nan's also facing a little wee cheeky disaster here. Oh, I mean, what's he up to here? We've got the aristocratic coups. An aristocratic coup. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> but it <laughs> wears some. Uh, yes. Wears some fancy gowns. What will that get him? Well, does he oh, want an aristocratic coup? I, I strongly doubt it. He's probably been milking them for everything he can get. Yes. Mm, we shall see, though. We shall see. These walls will not last much longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is your fault. Well, of course, they couldn't barrage it. But never look, he's actually trying to prove something here. They're coming in, putting it uh, under occupation as best they can. Canopies and the Imperium and the Phrygia are all... Like standing there to and even form Vesalia, a human <laughs> even Vesalia. Oh, yes. Dear. Uh, yeah. there, there they are doing all they can. Oh, I would not leave Vesalia in charge of Krakow. No, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Think harder. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Think smarter, not harder. He, he should probably try to do a barrage to bring that mm -hmm. uh, that wall down because Krakow seems to be going the slowest out of everything. All other forts have fallen. Sans. Oh, no, I'm not even going to try. Be, be shanked if I try to say it. That place south of Memel. Kingstown. Greater, greater Memel. Yes, call them out for abusing unconditional surrender. Yes. Well, we've actually changed the rules now. Millhaven will now be sitting basically protected now. Aye, ah, I mean, they, they can't actually... Uh, they can't burn so hard anymore. Yeah, we, we have overhauled the unconditional surrender mechanics after someone tried to shield their allies... Uh, I mean, I don't know who would try that, frankly. You should, you should, play, you should play to win for yourself. Mm -hmm. Your allies are tools to help you get to number one. Shouldn't shield them. Never take a fall for anyone else. Yes, this... I think, I think they bought it. Yes. But definitely here, it's... It's looking a bit grim here. Will we see the Tracheleans rise again? I, I am... I am secretly hoping. Well, not very secretly at all. I'm telling you all here. I would like to see great Tracheleans cash in on their one-up, you know, they, they need yes. to come back here. You know, we've already seen people thrown away to other Whoa. nations. Wow, wow. Uh, our, our oh, laser, laser probably did this because we weren't looking at him, yes. jinxing every action he did. Yes, but, the Kuba Lubins. Yeah, he's... But did they, didn't they have this before? The, uh, yes, the, they did. I think there's been a bit of a symbiotic relationship where North Kuba Luba can go south. Cards. Do we have mm, any? No, the development is too low around here. All right, yeah, they're just... Shitty, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see those kind of words. Uh, it's all random, right? Yes. Uh, they, they're probably despairing at leaving. Okay, the Imperium has actually stepped in going, get out. We'll show you how to take down a wall. Uh, yes. But they lost all progress here. I uh, don't think they, they did that particularly well. No. They, they need this one to go down. And then it will be... I don't think uh, the Proust can deny peace any longer after that. What is the war score? Uh, individually, it's minus 72 for uh, the Proust. And that, that's probably a lot of land to be giving back. So uh, that'll be having to offer land back to Greater Trigulia. It's not cheap land, so... Oh, I, I dread to think of the border gore that oh, can... Oh, uh, yes, will be... Someone spare me. Yes. I, think that, I, I, don't, I don't know all these places, so... But they'll be looking to probably split them in half. Oh my goodness. It's going to get worse before it gets better. I'm, yes. um, I'm warning all of you now. Having if, if there are young... Having scored points with his commentary team for his excellent efforts by clearing up Bordegor Starnan, only to see it resurface again. If there are young children or people of nervous disposition, you may want to uh, change the channel before this peace deal comes and yes. ruins everything that is good and holy in the world. Alright, any sign of any peace treaties coming in? Mm, well, if, if we've been on the Proust for quite some time and we haven't seen or heard it flocking in. I will note one thing though, he is not in debt. Do you no. think he's been bankrolled in any way? 
Has someone been bankrolling him? I uh, wouldn't want to say. Okay, the peace deal is coming in. And okay, it's it's nothing that's forcing them, but they want one, two, three, four, five, six provinces to the Great Tregulia and some money. Mm-hmm. Oh. And this is uh Yes. <laughs> Interesting. He's not saying yes, though. He's, oh, he's, he's thinking about I think it. He, I think he took the stab hit. Yeah, he it. took stab hit number one. Yeah. Now, yeah. Oh no! But look, he's got like a thousand man army. Oh, what's it? What's he doing? What has he done? He's just trying desperately to uh, get his war score back, so he can't be forced out. So what the uh, what the attackers here need to do is keep on their toes here, because he can. Uh, as soon as you have a province back, you can swiftly recruit more units from there, and that's exactly what he's doing. But no, the iridescent horde is having none of that. Oh, the, oh, oh, oh. the mother of all stack wipes there. Yeah. And to be fair, twenty thousand horsemen coming my way, I'd be, I'd be going to the hills. Okay, we have expert PL in the chat saying, "What is dead shall remain dead." No to free Tregulea. I think you're yeah, in the minority for that one. Here's but, a uh, star man asking Johan to make his offer here in the mm, dev chat. Here we have a kind of... It's easy if you ask for peace deals. Yes. Oh, I... You know, got to hand it to the uh, the attackers there. They've been tanking some very hefty war exhaustion for all of this. Mm -hmm. Any chance we'll see a CK2 devs clash? If we ever get a CK2 balanced enough, right? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. Mm. Yes. Now, CK2 dev multiplayer is played in house. Yes. But we we really couldn't have, like, trophies and. Oh, no, I mean, it'd just be like, you know. Yeah. What, what we really need is more, like, a story time dev play with. Yeah, them, well, I do that. Yeah. We, do, we do co op multiplayer. Mm. But it's always, it's just a few. Yes, yeah. I got to eat glitter hoof. We, were, we weren't on last night. Apparently Blondie there wanted a break from streaming, having spent the whole weekend streaming various things. But there we are, fully occupied star man yeah. by looks bit. Right, what do we have? If he tries to sue for Pete, yeah, he... Yes. No, there's nothing left. I think it's only rebel held. No, no, it's because there's a separate war with the Nevalukis. That's dangerous for an Evoluki if they joined in their own separate war. Was it separate? Was it? No, it wasn't. No. They, they joined in. Okay. Because that would be. Stellaris Death Clash. Stellaris. I think basically um, we're trying to get Observer Mode to work on Stellaris and then we'll no doubt see mm -hmm. for crimes against Border Gore. One, two, three, four, five. Again, six provinces. Less money this time though. They're they're going easy on them. Yes, here we are. Uh huh. So will will he accept or will he Before, say no? Let's see the stab. Where we are waiting. Stay on target. <laughs> Stay on target. <clears throat> One wonders what uh, what person still even has to uh, to fight back with because he doesn't have 100 uh, percent, or rather the attackers don't have 100 percent on him yet. I'm actually wondering what he would still hold that prevents that. Oh, well, he's letting the rebels. Uh, Oh, Tregulean Separatists! Tregulean yes. comes back again! Back in force, baby. Yes. Oh yeah, baby. Sue Johan for atrocious border guard crimes. They've not been committed yet, we are not the thought police. And the other thing here is Johan is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, Tregulean! Oh, Tregulea is back! And yes. Honestly, in one of the, the more stylish forms yes. that he could have possibly yes, had. Yes, it's not too bad to bag it. It's not that bad there. And those Tregulean Separatists, they're mm -hmm. not stopping just for that. No, they're moving on to free more of Tregula. Mm -hmm. But that still leaves Milhaven. Styria is back there. Oh, yes. Now, Milhaven still have their cores there. Now, if they're clever, they will actually cut Milhaven off from this. Otherwise, Milhaven is just going to come and take it all. Even better would be if uh, Johan were to take this for himself. And I can't help but notice there's a cheeky little claim right there. Oh, oh my trim. Mm. <laughs> Could that be uh, simply a jump for... Uh, perhaps so, Johan's going to go on a, a pilgrimage over to a certain home, a certain stocky home. Okay. Oh, oh yes! <laughs> Dracula rises! They're back. <laughs> Bigger and badder than ever before. Now, the question comes for us is how much did Trin Tragula know about this when he did his tactical day off? Yeah. I cats have a new heir to the throne, whom will be known as. Persian. Persian cat. Oh, oh God. No, please. Please, right. no. So, are we going to move Trin Tragula? Well, he never. I don't recall him coming in saying I quit. 
right? He was just, he's just not in today. No. In fact, we might have to say Blondie was a bit too fast in, yes. uh, in editing. We might have to redo, redo Tranquilus we, we have not had the official towel thrown in. No. And I see a very alive Great Tragula on the map. Yes, in fact, I see a look of despair there, Blondie there. I mean, <laughs> Blondie's oh, going, I'm going to have to redo All my. that <laughs> effort creating a superb death scene for, Trin Tra for Great okay. Tragula. Uh, I just want to congratulate the uh, the attackers here. They had a goal, they went for it, mm -hmm. and they, they actually fought very well. It's very hard to coordinate such a large force together. Oh no, apparently, uh, according to Salty One, the Trin Tragula knew nothing of their oh. plans, but apparently they're congratulating Wiz. Yeah, the... the Wizington there, despite not playing, is still <laughs> without, playing. Without playing has defeated the Starnet. Yeah. That said, though, the defenders did a pretty damn good job. They they put a lot of wipes. They uh... Yeah. Well, I mean, you saw that casualty ratio. Yeah, it yeah. was... The battles were very one-sided. Yeah, I think it was like uh, four dead for every one, uh, one of the central mm. defenders. So, yes, oh, no, well, Trent said to say he would play again if, if they saved him. Hmm. Because, I mean, I mean, in a custom nation game, you know, you really want to keep the custom nation because, I mean, you look over there, our laser, out there with his iridescent horde. It's a dangerous oh, nation. Oh, it's not with it's Roman horde. It's a dangerous nation to uh, keep alive for so long, though, because, you know, he's got 10% discipline, 15% morale, 15% shock damage, and late game, he's going for his absolutism. He starts out as a force to be reckoned with and grows ever stronger. The question, though, is... Uh, How strong? Yeah, uh, well, if these cores were returned, which I think they were, yes, they get were... Get Wiz to the studio. Will Wiz get the Di Diplo trophy? <laughs> <laughs> a new one. The trophy goes to someone that did not play. Yeah, that would be a, definitely a real shocker there. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I see... Um, is that Johan there taking Styria on? Oh, there we go. He's not missing a beat. Yes, he's moved quickly. Well, there's the thing. Rebels do temporary damage when they break away a nation because you, you keep the cores on them. Well, most of the time. But in Mostly. this in this case, if uh, if Joanne just takes those promises for himself, and there's no way he wouldn't, I mean, I don't... I can't see what stop him. I, d I don't know why these promises have such high development. They're, uh, I think we hard-coded them to have low development. Today. Yes, well, it's Denmark. Yeah. Well, Denmark itself has no, but no <laughs> nobody, power. nobody in Copenhagen wants to fight. Well, does it does sound like a typical Saturday night in Copenhagen. There. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, this will be a huge amount of damage for Millhaven. They're not out though. I mean, they still have. Uh, where's that gold mine? Mm -mm. Yes. And uh, they did happen to take that thirty-two development province over in uh, Finland. So they might not even have lost much development overall in this session. Mm -hmm. But still. Yes, it's been... The Alliance holds, though. Sheridan, Milhaven, and Gornia. Yes. But I wonder if uh, when Martin, uh, the yes, AI when Martin, Grieve comes Norm back, gets back here... Will he be reassessing the situation? Well, the other thing here is, now that old Starnan has been taken down a notch, will this Alliance of Convenience hold together, or will they start bleeding each other? In my experience... Mehmet is at war. Who's he gone to war with? The old canopies? Oh, oh is this attacking or defending? I think they were attacking Kakao. And yeah, but this uh, time here he's getting the alpacas there. Uh, there we go. Yes, attackers in the Kakao. But he might he might just get himself a little nibble here. Yes. I think because he, he so gracefully conceded uh, the Italian region, of course, to yeah. uh, Imperium... I think they decided, you know, we should we should help each other now. I'll help you grow in exchange for this. And I don't think Menneth will hold a big grudge over that. Yes, yeah, so the thing. Someone's pointed out Starnan lost his glorious 37 development city. Oh, now which one was that again? I can't remember one of them. Here we go. There yeah. we go. Wow. No. That's going to hurt. He even reduced autonomy in this province as soon as he took it because he wanted everything out. So he got the, the autonomy right the way down. And of course, when Tregulia marches back and he goes, my people, they, and they, they, love they flock me. back to him. Maybe some religious issues here. They are orthodox, and these are uh, these have all been converted to the yes, Shia ways. Yes, some major conversion work here. Yeah, some of them still enjoying the religious zeal, but not forever. No. And uh, Tregulia may want to... They may flip, they may stay true to the orthodox Two ways. questions are... here. People wondering, devastation map mode. How devastated is Europe looking? It's, uh, it's oh, looking better. It's... Now, Millhaven has some greatly tactically placed forts, so it looks like recovery has been fairly good, maybe not in the north. Starnan does not. No. It is, his centre area is just, 
you know, live and let die. And also, who would doubt the great powers after all this ebbing and flowing? We haven't seen devastation that high for a long time. And Not got... since Indian Thunderdome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Dracula is at war. What, all right? Oh! The Prussian conquest. Did, uh, did he break truce to take it back? Well, that's the thing, because Trintragula is not protected. <laughs> he broke truce <laughs> oh! to take it back. In Starman, you animal. Wow. And because they're AI, they can't reach out for uh, for alliances. Yes, and he's not protected. No. We, Tragula, Trin Tragula was not on our protected list. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. so could be that the Prusin rises back yes, up. Yes, I know, this could be, this is, this is really good. Oh, there's a whiz coming through here. Yeah, come yeah. on in. The Wessington's coming through here, diplomatic trophy contender. So, do you want your diplomatic trophy now or uh, or later? Because I saw no, no, him no, 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 kind no. of speaking to his eager no. acol at acolytes at lunch there <sighs> as they're hanging on his every word. I kind of just wanted to explain how that happened. Yes. Because you know? it wasn't so much like pre planned as just. <laughs> I was sitting with a bunch of people at Texas at lunch today, yes. Texas Longhorn, <laughs> and I was hearing them making plans, and I was like, all of these plans, they are so bad. Yeah. <laughs> They're just basically handing victory to Daniel. Mm. They were all discussing like how to attack various people that would be great for Daniel to swoop in and just like, oh no. Oh no. And also combined with the fact that Joanne, and I know he probably provoked me intentionally, had previously told me that if I was in this game, I would have had no chance against Daniel in the <laughs> hug box. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. oh. Oh. So it was just a combination of, I gave them a few nudges, <laughs> some advice, and it, then I let them take over. Ah, they also like your haircut, by the way, just chat's quite impressed with it, you know, it's like it's quite the nice. lean, mean, plotting machine here. What you, yeah. Yes. What do you make of this, though? It seems that not content with losing his land, he immediately <laughs> truce breaks to uh, to take it all back. Yes. No, well, no. that's... I mean, that's basically Starnan for you. Yes, yeah. he is. He fights to the bitter end. He is a war machine, you've got to hand it to him. He would rather destroy himself than be destroyed. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, I don't think it'll be so destructive for him, though. Um, I mean, he's not going to have the cores on it. The, the land is horribly devastated and will be quite autonomous, but uh, mm. I wonder if he'll try to see if he can't wipe out Tregulia for good. Yeah, I mean, that would definitely be rather amusing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Having fought the Great War. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised none of them allied with Tregoli afterwards, because that would have been a priority of mine, given that I would have... Yeah. yeah. I well, would figure him to truth break. Imperium were the only ones who did, and they... Well, uh, they, um, they decided not to join. I think they probably allied afterwards, mm -hmm. and for some reason they I didn't call them. No, well they're losing the war too hard, so yeah, I don't right. think they would. It was a very instant uh, break them down and take everything move. A smash and grab, if you will. Is. People are demanding the Stellaris Dev Clash, though. Yes. Yeah, we need a better observer mode for that, but as soon as we get that, is it, totally. I, I, rumor, rumor in the grapevine is it's it's moving up the agenda slowly. Yeah. So coming soon to a, a stream near you. Let's hope so. Yes. In space, no one can. And then you can you be sitting here in the commentary no. booth, the Grand Conductor. Yeah, it would be interesting. I mean, <laughs> we actually have a really interesting internal game going on right now, mm -hmm. where. The galaxy is being eaten by the Paterns Scourge as a result of player infighting. Oh. As you do. <laughs> Damn those players. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, no, I just wanted to let take, you guys come know in, take, how take, that happened. Take, and take, take credit where credit's due. Take, you know, take my honorary diplomatic yes. trophy. I love how you chose this time again to wear your green screen t-shirt. <laughs> yes. So, uh, yes. it's like you've teleported <laughs> <time. laughs> Well, this wasn't planned, but you know, <laughs> yes. I am the... The green the eminence. The green I screen fade machine. Into the background yes. and plot. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Well, all nice you stop by, Wiz. Thank you. <laughs> ah, funny oh, this no, one. Now he's handing back the Millhaven's losses. Mm -hmm. Now they won't have the cores here. No, no but no, but I think they'll get over <laughs> that. Yes, they will. <laughs> stop this savagery! Destroy Starnan again! <laughs> Well, there's well, the thing. As I was trying to say, it's very hard to keep a coalition together after the big fight has been done. Everybody feels the pain from what has happened, you know, the, the manpower losses, the loans. 
It's oddly enough, after a great war, people really don't want to go in for a second war. It's meant to be no. a war to end all wars. But uh, ever with the unorthodox moves, Prussen has jumped back in. Yes, uh, people asking why Trin Tregula was not is not protected, and it's quite simply because he was basically had been had been ruled destroyed. Yeah, he's actually at home today and uh, wouldn't be able to make it in anyway. Yeah, but uh, but we we assumed we assumed he was going. Oh, not a again. Gore. Why? <laughs> why must you do this? Yes. Okay, right now people are allying with, yes, the, with the, the remnants. Of, will they go to war again? There is half an hour left in the session yeah, to, nah. to once again try and free Trin Tragula. Mm. I mean, well, Norway is starting to really break apart here. They're giving lands to Britannia. Oh. I noticed that much. What's oh, this land This land going to Smolensk? Of, of course. course. Where else would we be going? Yes. Yeah, so, people ask. So I wonder if Katz is going to feel the pain of uh, spitting out too many Let's make it here. stop. People are calling out <laughs> here in the border <laughs> gore. No, it's a border gore galore. Let there be more. Yes. Now, do, how long is their truce schedule to run here? Now, this will be the full 15 years, no doubt. Yes, 1536. Mm -hmm. Will they be willing to break it? The thing about truce breaking is you aren't able to call in your allies like that. Ooh. So it's dangerous. Ooh. Very dangerous. Yes. Because he would just need to single them out one by one. Also makes it very hard to actually uh, get a coherent peace deal going. So the Prussian, they've been knocked down a peg, certainly so the Milhaven, but not quite so much. Mm -hmm. And it also opens up diplomatic opportunities. Will we see Imsi and Starnan having lunch with Wiz next week? <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep you posted on this one here. We'll be stalking Wiz every Tuesday, yeah. see who lunches with. But notice a lot of the alliances have dissolved somewhat. You know. Well, actually, no, Johan keeps, uh, keeps laundry list. the coalition of the periphery here. Yeah, but they're not so willing now, this no. coalition. Also, Prussian seems to... No, I'm looking at the wrong guys here. Yeah, it's Katsuoni. Yeah, okay, thinking. Prussian are not in their golden age. They're waiting, no, no. They're waiting on that one. No, I don't think um, this really could be classed as a golden age. No, <laughs> no. no, certainly <laughs> no. not. Got it, got a hand to start How did Mill even get around the action of truce breaking is... Um, I don't know is the answer. All right, that's fair I didn't, I didn't pay attention to how that war was fought, though. Because Melhaven definitely got territory. We know that much. Yeah, indeed, there was stuff there. Stuff yeah, so we, we have no idea into that question. Oh, no. It's a good question, and we'd love to answer it. As a Scotsman, I don't often pay, and sometimes Nets. that means I don't pay attention. No. Golden Age of Border Gore. Yes, can't argue with that one. People are asking about the Starnine Coalition. The thing is, though, Tragilea was an Orthodox nation. Mm -hmm. Not many people are even Christian around here to even care about that, so when it comes to his uh, coalition, not really that much. No, Dracula obviously disappointed. Yes. Ah, Palembang still got a few issues, but everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, I think he's trying to reach the aggressive expansion cap when it comes to uh, Tragula here. Yes, disappointed. Yeah, I mean, even the Oda clan are a bit miffed, mm. but that's, uh, that's about as far as it goes. Meanwhile, Tarascan is growing bigger. Oh, wait. Yeah, who's, so got, who's got Stockholm now? Uh, ooh. Yeah, oh, Tarascan. Yeah, yeah. And is that more of Britannia there? Yeah, Britannia grows ever larger. So I really think Katz is gearing up for his uh, holiday off here. Now, as memory serves, the last person to move his capital to a new world in one of these games got ganked by Salty Daniel. Just a bit. Yes. <laughs> so is Katz taking his life into his own hands? Well, it seems that well, he is peacefully surrendering <laughs> all this land to him. But uh, yes. I, w I would love for Daniel just to turn around and go, "Thanks." By the way, I want the new world as well. Yes. That would be ever so slightly amusing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, there there must be a great bit of trust here. But I really think we do have the Norse, uh, the Norse Brotherhood here. Mm -hmm. And they do maintain a pretty strong alliance, or at least so we see. What I'm surprised is that the Bruce have not truce broken a second time. Yeah, I mean, that would be... I think but I, I have a feeling that's what he would do. Yes, given the chance, but now he's got an ally. Yeah, only one, though. Yeah. Imperium could not stand up to this alone. Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean uh, Starnan, his country... Imperium bled. Imperium bled quite a bit. Yes, but he's still looking pretty good. To be fair, he wouldn't have the salty ball supporting him. No. 
And the uh, loan situation doesn't look too bad. You know, Stability. overall, things look pretty good for the Star 9. He took a bit of a He's hit. He's got a few looming disasters, so when you look at that... <laughs> <laughs> Peasant war, internal call. Oh, he's, he's going for the hat trick here. Oh, some of our some of our more observant members of the stream are suggesting that Millhaven wasn't actually in truce with Trin Dracula, with Greater Dracula. Uh, that's quite possible, isn't it? Well, we have no idea. So, yeah. your guess is good as mine. Keep, keep speculating, chat. Mm -hmm. yes. actually, well, there's actually I just had a thought there. Would there have been a truce between them and uh, Great Dracula because they weren't in the war? Hmm. It's quite possible that they didn't have one. And Wisna, is that the actual name of the province? Or is that some tribute there from Star uh, <laughs> I, I'm sure there are some Poles very unhappy at us saying that now, but too bad. There was no truce, says Star Ah, uh, there we go, okay. Do not try and find a so, truce, for in, that would in, be foolish. In fact, it was just the uh, incompetence of the attackers not even considering that, that he might attack back straight away. Oh, Shortcoming. In fact, the only person that actually managed to see this coming would have been the Imperium, but the others just he let did. this happen. The other thing Nobody is... Nobody guaranteed Tregulia, nobody allied them. 